Welcome back, everyone. This is Super Kelly Brothers Podcast, episode 97. My name's Sloan Kelly. My name's Jody Kelly. Uh, and don't forget, if you want to help the channel out, that would be great. Uh, if you could uh, smash the like button uh, and share as well on, on your Facebooks and your Twitters and your Mastodon and whatever else it is that you use, uh, that would be great. Mastodon. What's that? Uh, it's a new Twitter thing that everybody's... It's well, the hip, non... The it's federated. Yeah, basically, yeah. Uh, all yeah. the crazy kids are using it now. Um, and uh, if you could... Uh, you want to get timely reminders, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, and you will be informed by the YouTubes uh, when we post a new video. And of course, if you're listening to this in a podcast, uh, you can use podcastindex.org, or I think we're on Spotify now as well, and tune in and, and all these things, because they just seem to pick up whatever Apple puts out there. So if you're new to us from Spotify, hello. Hello there. Hello there. Um, hello there. And if you wouldn't mind uh, giving us uh, five stars on iTunes, that'd be great as well. It's so appreciated. Or How's, seven uh, or eight stars. I don't think it goes up to seven or eight stars. I think it's like five, five out of five. Five out of seven, we download again. Eleven. Well, that's the BBC yeah. website. Got, uh, the the volume control goes up to eleven. Yeah. Aye. Somebody told me that. Is that true? That's true. For the spinal tap. Yep. Yeah. For the oh. for the for the lols, as the kids say, mm. they don't say that. That's what that's what people our age think kids say. The lols. The lols. For the lols. Lots uh, of love. Yeah. <laughs> I know it doesn't. It? <clears throat> yeah. That's one of those ones when you you know you tell somebody texts an older person that doesn't know what LOL is. Uh, much older than us, obviously. And uh, <laughs> they say and they say, Oh, my mum died and the other person says, oh dear, sorry to hear about that, LOL. Meaning lots of love. But mm. it actually doesn't mean lots of love. Doesn't People mean that. think that it, could, it can mean lots of love and laugh out loud. No, it can't. It only that, means one thing. There, there, are, there, are two, um, there are two completely separate meanings then. And they can't both mm. be true. It's like Aladdin from uh, The Dictator. Do you know what, do you know what YOLO means? YOLO. You only live uh -huh. once. Yes. That's right. It's all right. Finger um, pulse. Oh. <laughs> uh, Ruffle. Ruffle. Rolls on floor uh, laughing. Rolls on floor laughing. Uh -huh. I don't think I ever, I don't think I knew that. No, I meant LMAO. Laugh mass off. Mm -hmm. I heard one, one the other day there and I didn't know what it was. <clears throat> But mine's not what it used to be, so I can't remember what it was. Get old. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> so are you? Oh yeah, yeah. Literally pushing fifty. Yeah. That's well, year. next year. Uh, next no, year. next year. Next year. Yeah. Right. Next year. Jeez. Still got a year and a half. I'm supposed to tell, to tell the pod, pod people that. The pod people. Think they're too young. <laughs> Too young, too young guys. You know? I don't think that that's not what the byline in the podcast says. It says, "Imagine listening to two old blokes on a, on a train that talk absolute garbage and don't know what they're talking about, or something like that." I didn't, can't remember our byline. Or a bus. Or a bus. But the, the difference is that in Glasgow, you might, if you're not from Glasgow, you probably won't understand the people on the bus, though. Not that I'm saying every, but the the people who are arguing, who are who you're trying to listen to are not going to make sense because they're probably drunk and they're probably speaking very, very Glaswegian. Yeah. You've not been Those in guys. for a while, obviously. No, I'm not, no. No, I mean if you go if right, okay, if you're coming from if you're coming from Ayrshire or whatever, you, people are gonna talk. I'm gonna stop talking or else we're gonna get letters. Yeah, Send them to Jody at yeah. Super Kelly yeah. It's usually me that comes out with that kind of stuff. I'm yeah. Just telling me off. I'm trying to say now, the Neds. There's gonna be yeah, the Neds. Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, where's the first? Where's the where's the first minister from? Is she from Irvine? She's from Irvine, yeah. Is she? No. Yeah. Now there's going to be a part of this that is going to be totally pointless for for an audio factor. We're going to do an unboxing later on. Well, I think um, what we're going to have to do is we're just going to have to be super descriptive. 
when we yeah, talk about so. it. Judy is cutting into the packaging. That kind of thing. <laughs> it's not going to be put it's I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll do the described podcast. audio for it. So, well, the Judy has severed right? his carotid artery. What do you, what you guys need to do? Blood is now spurting over his camera. See how we've got tens and thousands of people listening to this, this podcast, right? No. What you guys need to do is, uh-huh. for the purposes of Go this, watch the video. Uh, go and watch the video. Mm-hmm. Obviously, yeah. if you are commuting and you're driving a car, don't. Wait no. until you get home or at the office and then yeah. look us up on, on uh, YouTube. Just search for Super yeah. Kelly Bros. It's the easiest way. Because we, yeah. we don't have a vanity channel name yet because we don't have a thousand subscribers. So once we get a thousand subscribers, it will be youtube.com slash Super Kelly Bros. By the way, I have no idea what that noise is up there. I don't know if you can pick it up, but it sounds like someone drilling. I can't hear it. Oh, okay, that's good then. Um, yeah, plus we do exclusive stuff on our YouTube channel as well. Mm-hmm. So all you guys, all you cool cats listening to your pods, things. I listen to a lot mm-hmm. of podcasts. And, um, yeah, go into your YouTube channel and check us out. Yes. And every Thursday we do, uh, we actually do a rundown or we do a watch along of last week's Mandalorian episode uh, as well. So we, we talk about that with uh, with our good friend James, uh, who uh, comes yep. on and we, we talk Star Warsy stuff. Uh, he brings on Baby Yoda and we have a good time. We have a geek talk, geeking stuff. out. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Great. Yes. So, talking of which, what what else did you watch this week? Because clearly you watched The Mandalorian because it comes out at 8 a.m. in the morning or whatever it is in the UK. Yeah, we were talking about Mandalorian for a wee bit without spoilers. And, you know, uh, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, watched The Mandalorian. Um, <clears throat> thoroughly enjoyed it again. Mm-hmm. Uh, the, only, the only thing I would say about it is probably part, part two, really, of the, the previous episode. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was a very similar thing, I suppose. Um, Somebody said I it's. Did, the, I did still enjoy it, though. I really did, did enjoy it. Somebody said that the Mandalorian's feeling a bit like NPC quests and in, in role playing games. Um, yeah. And it, it feels if they've, they've, yeah, I, sorry, they've not quite got to the meat yet, have they? Yeah. No, not quite yet. But but the thing is, when you're playing a, I was I was thinking about that, but because there's been a few people have said that. On, on Twitter and, and, and uh, other mediums. Uh, and I, I, I agree with it, but at the same time, when you're playing an RPG, you kind of enjoy. <laughs> That's kind of one of the reasons why you play that is because that, that kind of thing is familiar, where it's like you get a quest and you go and you fulfill well, the quest and you get a prize. Like if you hadn't helped a man, let's not spoil it, but <laughs> I was just about to spoil it there. Um, the, it was worth, the, the quest was worth doing. Because yeah, you know. Well, somebody said on you know I watch uh, YouTube stuff, I listen to podcasts mm-hmm. about these things, so that I'm knowledgeable, mm-hmm. as well as watching it for myself. And somebody had said that the, the story is the sorry the quest is the story, but the, it's not actually. No, we've not got not to the, so. the meat and potatoes yet. This is no. we're on our, the starter. I think we're teasing yeah. us at the moment um, yeah. because. We're still to get to Mr. Darksaber, uh, Darth, uh, sorry, Moff uh, Gideon. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, there's, there's 10 Karadun episodes. And... There's 10 episodes this one. Oh, is there? I think. Is there? The uh, Mandalorian. Well, you've got my interest. Uh, I, know, I noticed in... that one was, was shorter again as well. Well, they mm. don't seem short, do they? No. They really pack a lot of stuff in. Um, oh, no, there's not. There's they... eight. Well, I mean, you know what? Uh, is there eight? No, there's, yeah, there is, there is eight. Um, they, do, yeah. they really do pack a lot of stuff in. Um, mm. I mean, although that was like 30, 30 well, maybe 31 minute episode because the recap and stuff is included. Yeah. But, you know, they. They packed in a, a boat ride. They packed mm-hmm. in, you know, a, a, um, a, a kind of robbery thing, mm-hmm. heist sort of heist, yeah. thing. Um, you know, it's all it's all there. Mon um, Calamari were there wearing their wee uh, fishermen's jumpers. They, 
they packed, yeah, they, they packed in um, some familiar faces from the yeah. animation that, that are now in, in yeah, the... now canon. Well, again, well, they were canon before, but um, yeah. the Corrin were in it again. I don't like them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. They're not nice Cor- people. What? Cor- the Corrin. Cor- Is it the Corrin? Those the squid people. Oh, them the things. They always remind yeah. me of the the um, Pirates of Caribbean. You know the mm. uh, David Jones. David yeah. David Jones. David Jones. Mm-hmm. Bill Nye. Yeah. Not that Bill yeah. Nye. The other Bill Nye. What other Bill Nye? The good Bill Nye. The yeah, there's Bill Nye the science guy. Oh, or is yes, that called is. Bill Nye the guy? Is one not Bill Nye he? And one's Bill Nye. One of them is Bill N I G H, and the other one's Bill N Y E. And then there's Bill Heine. That's because he. That's because he's got his knee is is about four inches above where it should be. <clears throat> Bill Heine. actually mid thigh. That's right. Yeah, it's a very painful, Bill, um, painful Bill thing. Heine. Yeah. If you get well, obviously you have to. Uh, you have to push. It Nightmare back. driving a car. I would have thought. Yeah. High knees. That'd be, yeah. that'd be weird, wouldn't it? Would be. Um, yeah, so, oh, I lost my thing. So, yeah, watch that. Um, we were going to watch that Jingle Jangle, the Christmas story. Oh, yeah, with the Forest Friday. Whisker. Yeah, mm-hmm. it looks like look, uh, maybe closer to Christmas. Maybe next weekend we'll watch that. Mm-hmm. Um, but it looks like another, another uh, nice... Um, Seasonal thing from Netflix. They've done pretty well in the past few years. Yeah, the Kurt Russell, Russell one was good. Yeah. Um, the Klaus, the animation one was really good as well. Mm-hmm. It was done, it was kind of done. Did you watch that one? It was done in the kind I of. I think I did. It was done in the kind of. The animation like um, Into the Spider Verse. It was kind of like that. All right, okay. Kind I definitely, I definitely watched the, the Kurt Russell one. Yeah, that was really good. I enjoyed that. Yeah, that's Kurt Russell. Although they also were a bit creepy, a bit kind of like gremlinish. Yeah. You know I mean, is it? I don't, I don't remember it that much. Remember that? I remember, I remember the Jailhouse Rock, but yeah, and the missed opportunity. Yeah. I'm just trying to look to see what we actually watched here, and I can't even see it. Um, well, I watched a thing called uh, My Octopus Teacher. Have you watched that on Netflix? I've heard of it. Mm, it's quite weird. It's a kind of obviously a nature thing. This guy, Hello. documentary maker, he's looking for his next subject, but he, he kind of does these free dives. So he's mm-hmm. not got any equipment, and um, he stumbles across this this kind of pile of shells and like broken, you know, bits of. Crabs and all sorts, right? Big pile. Yeah. And it, and it goes closer it gets to it, it just all kind of as if it explodes and this this uh, octopus darts away into the dis- you know, from it. Okay. It's been like collecting all these things and hiding underneath it, like you know, uh-huh. you know like a, you know, like a party where folk chuck their, their jackets and then somebody's yeah. like in the room, <laughs> uh, a bit like that. And then um, so he's kind of fascinated by it and. Um, he, uh, he goes back for more and, and he ends up having a relationship with it, not in a kind of, you know, going for a drink and things like that, you know, trying to get it to, into bed and stuff. Although there is an odd scene in it where he puts his finger out to it, right? Uh-huh. And it, it uh, kind of caresses him with his tent- its tentacles. And he said, uh, I'm sure he says something about making love. And it was caressing me, something. This, this reminds me of that, um, that, uh, the, this. No, it's happened. Am I, am I hearing my own? Oh, God, please help. Oh, no, I don't know what to do. Hello. You'll see, you'll see, you'll see the panic in, in my face and hear me um, <laughs> going, hello, what do I do now? <laughs> Please come back. <laughs> Help me. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, he did. 
<clears throat> it, imagine the panic in my face. All of a sudden, you just, it just went completely black. And I was like, uh oh. This is the whole statement out. I said, did you get the video? The video, no. Yeah, I sent a video. Um, basically, the entire place is in darkness out there. Oh, so I thought it was just a photo, sorry. No, 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 it's a video. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, sorry, what were you saying before we were so rudely interrupted by uh, the power Please. cut? Alien so, invasion. Alien invasion. Um, so what's happened is, um, uh, uh, just to give you a sort of a, a heads up as to what's happening, um, we've been given... Um, I think I can zoom in here. Hang on a sec. Uh, we've been given a, a wind warning, <laughs> and and clearly this has had a, a little bit of an impact on on our broadcast this evening. So, um, panic over? Uh, no, not really. We've got the hurricane lamps out. Let me put it that way. All right. Okay. Is that a euphemism? No, no. It's actual hurricane lamps. It should, it should be. Yeah, it should be. Yeah, <laughs> luckily, I mean, yeah, luckily well, we've got like mobile phones and stuff, so we can. Yeah. Yeah, it's in well, the, re the the reason, right? Yes. Yes. I was just jumping to conclusions. It was a, probably an alien invasion because that's how well, it always starts. That's how it always it's starts. Because, yeah. because I know that for a fact because I watched War of the Worlds with little Tommy Cruz. Oh, did you? Yeah, I've seen it loads before. <clears throat> that's a nice segue. Yeah. Um, and that is exactly how it started. Well, apart from like thunder, I feel like this is like much brighter than it was before. Thunder lightning. That's maybe what's blown your. That's, you've probably blown the whole street with that light. Did you change your lighting rig? Rubbish. <clears throat> Little Tommy Cruz running about with his family, trying to keep them safe. That's right. Um, that's a really great version of it. Actually, really, it's a good version. Enjoy it. I do feel as if Evelyn uh, requests it every single week, though. She says she doesn't, but I do feel she does. Um, <laughs> like, why don't we watch what of the I'm like, we watched it last week. Do you know, anime's go-to movie is um, uh, David Niven, um, Heaven Can Wait. Oh, yeah. Yep. Every single week, it's like, maybe we should watch uh, Heaven Can Wait. One of these weeks, I'm going to surprise and go, yeah, let's watch that. Is it called Heaven Can Wait? Is that, Heaven is that, is that the... Um, I think it's Heaven Can Wait. The guy that directed the Red Shoes and... Oh, my God. Oh, no, wait, no. Heaven Can Wait is the... You're thinking of the... Are you thinking yeah, no, the, it's not. The it's the, the one, one that was... It's quite surreal. Yeah, it's surreal not that one. one where he's a aircraft yeah. pilot. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God, what was the director? Help me. A Matter here. of Life and Death, that's what it's called. Matter of Life and Death. Yes. Remade uh, by Ardman Animations uh, as uh, a matter of loaf and death. As uh, Pirates of Penzance. Uh, it is directed by uh, Michael Powell and Emmerich Michael Pressburger. Michael Powell. That's him, yeah. Who are they? Michael Powell. Yeah. Um, well, he, wrote, he directed The Red Shoes. He directed um, Helen Mirren and uh, that one that she's naked a lot in, which could be quite a number of other movies, but. Um, Age of Innocence or something. Oh yeah, yeah. Age, Age, Age of Innocence. Yeah, that one's not to be out. confused by uh, Enigma. Yeah, she looks uh, fantastic, Ellen Mirren. Well, we've got a Shaking Ooh. Stevens thing going on now. What's this? It's all this about. Thank this you. is going to be running about. Wonder what's happening with this old house. Oi. Great segue. Um. <laughs> So uh, we have been going on a bit of a Spider-Man trip or tip. Trip, tip. So you, did you buy a PS5? I can't get one. Not that I take. Well, I, I, I kind of half-heartedly looked, you know, and uh, I couldn't get one. I watched uh, I watched um, Marquez Brownlee's um, review of it, and he's suitably impressed by it. He thought it was a, yeah, a good system. Yeah. He's not like a. He's not like a. Hardcore gamer, he's just casual, but yeah. um, he thought it was it was think, an excellent system. Yeah, I think for me next year, um, I was playing a bit of uh, January first. <laughs> I well, no, I'll wait, I'll wait a bit longer. <laughs> this will be um, this will be outside a game January first. Uh, it's quite a clunky 
clunky machine. It's quite a big so machine, yeah. Well yeah. Um, it is a hefty bit of kit, yeah. but, but yeah, it's it's a it's a definite not day one purchase, but a definite definite maybe at some point next year. Yeah. Purchase. Um we've been playing a couple of games actually, um Days Gone. Started mm-hmm. playing that, which is a kind of it's an old day. An old day now, I think. I think it was out maybe two years ago. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Um, in the same vein as Last of Us and not all those kind of games, but you know, Sony have, have kind of perfected that type of story led game. Mm-hmm. Uh, always go easy mode, though. If, I, if there was a tourist mode, I would go on it. Yeah. To, you, you basically want a movie at this at this point. That, that's what I always wanted. It, but, you know, when Battlefront, when I played live, remember I told you this before? Mm. I was so in awe of Battlefront. I might as well have been stood there wearing a Hawaiian shirt with my camera down there like that and hot, you know. <laughs> and a big you know, sign that says, blast me. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, and immediately 10 seconds in, shot in the head yeah. by a 15-year-old, you know. That is exactly what's going to happen with uh, uh, Star Wars Rogue Squadron or whatever it's called. Well, I've got it. I think I mentioned it in the yeah, I think you did, actually, yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I like, like I said, on the it's too the colourful. Mandalorian thing you need to watch it. It's a bit too colourful. Mm-hmm. I like my space a bit darker than that. But, um, I like my space. I like my coffee. <laughs> black and no sugar. Sweet and black. Sweet and black. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I like it a bit kind of more. The original style oh, was great. This, this is me complaining about space now, right? The colour of space. Uh, it was a great film. <laughs> The original style Magenta, was the by the way, which is the, kind of the, funny. Yeah, was black and they, they had wee pinpricks of holes, didn't they? And they shone, <laughs> shone light through the behind a bit of card. Yeah. And that's how they, they did the starry skies. Yeah. Now the prequels added in all these kind of colours and things, and the the, the the sequels to the trilogy have continued that, and now this game's got it as well. I think um, I'm more of a think, when it comes to space. I think there are there are parts of space without getting because I don't really know because I'm not a space guy, but um, th- there are parts of space that is colourful, like there are Let's nebula get into, out there. Let's that get into plasma. It's colourful. Plasma. plasma. Exactly. That's what talking about yeah, but plasma. Yeah, I, I like my plasma. I don't, you know, I can like, take plasma. I like, or leave it to be honest yeah. with you. Well, now everyone leaves it because they all get LCD TVs. Yeah, yeah, but plasma is a or LED TVs. I don't know what's what one's better. I don't know. Is it LED or LCD? I don't even know. T plasma tellies is that the the the, the, the um <clears throat> embraced not embraced way back when. Well, yeah, we got it was, we got plasma out yeah. of space and put it in a telly and they made black screen tellies. No, it's as simple as that. Plasma is just superheated something or other. I can't remember what it is. It's super, I used to super think plasma things. was like slime, but it's not. It's like anyway, I don't know what it is. It's gassy, gaseous, maximus, whatever. Does I don't know what I'm talking plasma. about. It's plasma in your blood, yeah. Yeah. Is that the same thing as plasma? That's not. I the think same plasma. Thing. I think plasma might be Greek for fluid. I'm gonna look it up. We are getting a bit, we are getting a bit deep here, but we are all made from stars. That's a fact. It's true. Thing. That's not just a um, plasma. What does plasma mean? The liquid part of blood and lymphatic fluid, which makes up about half the, the volume of blood. Plasma is devoid of cells, and unlike serum, is not it has not clotted. Blood plasma it contains space, it's basically it's fluid. Does it mean in space? Uh, something fluid. Anyway, it's too too colourful for me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> don't like the colours. I don't like the colour of space in it. It okay. kind of puts me off. But as a game, it's really good. We play it in VR. You know that in uh, the colour of space, the the Nicolas Cage the one based on H.P. Lovecraft, uh, that, yes. that movie that came out a couple of years ago, uh, is Magenta. Oh, yeah. Because I that this yeah, year. I uh, I've yet to watch it. It looks interesting. It's very good. Um, really but, yeah, the colour of space is magenta because it's impossible. You can't have magenta. It's not a colour you can have. Because well, magenta is a mix of blue and magenta, red, and yeah. two completely opposite ends of the, the visible spectrum, so you can't mix them together. That's the end of the geek. 
part of uh, this podcast. Thank you. You're, we've only just started. You're kidding. I uh, we got a we got a new computer, um, and it is a, a computer enabled enabled computer. It's got a graphic processor that can fling around things. So we got a, one that was a family family <laughs> PC, <laughs> polygons and things, stuff and, triangles uh, and that. Yeah. Well, quickly. So uh, we also watched um, Spider Man Homecoming. Mm, so okay. Comes up double bill on Friday. Mm-hmm. Just kind of went a bit retro. Danny, Danny's in a late Spider Man trip you now. Obviously, the Miles Morales movie came out. Okay, stuff. And then today he watched Spider Verse. So he's like totally. But luckily, uh, the Morales games come out for PS4, PS4 as well. Mm-hmm. So we're fine. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we got a PC. So the uh, first thing we downloaded was Portal 1 and 2. Oh, yeah. Double, double build. And. Uh, Team Fortress 2, which is free on Steam. Yes, it's, yes. And this is all new to me. Uh, although we did have Steam before, but our, our uh, PC was pretty crap, so mm. we didn't play games kind of thing, so mm. we were loving it. Um, you were playing Team Fortress 2 then? No, I only just downloaded it tonight, so all right. I've not played it. Go Pyro and Protect the oh. NG. Oh, really? Yeah, and also do do the payload ones. They are so much fun. Oh, really? Payload oh, race. Well, maybe not the payload race, but certainly the payload itself is is fun. Do you play with mouse and keyboard, or do you play with joystick? Oh yeah, joystick. Mouse, mouse and keyboard. Mouse joystick. and keyboard. Yeah. Danny's got Danny's getting into the mouse and keyboard thing. I think yeah. he's quite used to it to begin with, but he's kind of yeah getting used to it. No, it's um, it's better with mouse and keyboard. Don't so, use yeah. the trackpad. The trackpad's no, just not at all. Thing. No, I know. I gave you that option, and uh, and yeah. I was like, oh no, immediately. I hate yeah. the trackpad. I hate it. It's not good. I don't like it. I don't. I, I have it's a okay mouse. for kind of. It's okay for just doing some things, but. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, this isn't a mouse. This is a bar of soap. So it is. Yeah. <laughs> mouse. So. What about your yeah. yourself? It's the old one. It's the old one that you don't plug in, needs batteries. Uh, I uh, So I watched The Mandalorian as well um, yep. and had good times watching The Mandalorian. Uh, it, it is getting a bit... I don't want to say samey. It's The Mandalorian. It's like it, every episode is a delight. You're learning more about The Mandalorian, like Din, Din Djarin himself. You're finding more about him. He's getting a bit more circuit. Like he's, he's opening up a little bit more uh, as well. Uh, so he's not just chat. He's not just yes. like yeah, mm-hmm. he's there was like, also an interesting thing. Sorry, when you go, no, that's all I was gonna say. I trailed off. Uh, There's also an interesting thing that happened in that, um, that shows how closed off in a cult he was. You know, yes, but we'll go into yep. spoilers on Thursday with yep. James. Um, and it, it always fascinates me because I don't know how they're gonna get out of that. And I'm like, one line of dialogue. I thought that last episode, I was like, whoa, he is yeah. not going out of this. I loved it. I absolutely yeah. loved it. Oh, yeah, the, the spider one? Mm-hmm. Passenger and one? Did you know yeah. in uh, the, the third episode there, um, chapter, whatever it is now? Um, yeah, 11, I uh, think. Uh, are we not tailing again? Did you notice that? When he goes to the week in a tavern? Yes, I thought that was funny. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was good as well. Yeah, yeah, you know, tailing again. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Um, yeah, that kind of made it feel like it was a continuation of um, uh, the that one, and there was another wee bit as well at the very end, as well with the the Mon Calamari. Obviously, have <clears throat> snacks, and they fix everything with fishing lines. Um, yeah, it was a nice bit as well. Uh, yeah, so watch the Mandalorian. Uh, damn good, damn damn good. Um, the so my my Friday night is the Mandalorian, and then swiftly followed by uh, the long way insert direction here, mm-hmm. and it ended. Oh god, oh god, I knew this day would happen. <laughs> oh god, are you okay? I don't know. Are you okay? Not really. Does somebody need a hug? Uh, maybe. I was actually half expecting to be sitting there with a full regalia, Harley Davidson. Okay. The, the Aria the helmet on. Dig. 
all that kind of stuff. The big, the big jacket. Yeah. yeah. The stig. So, so how are you coping? I'm doing okay. I was, to be honest, I was, I was a little bit. Mm-hmm. It's over. Because they're, you know, they're always talking about, you know, all, oh, you know, this is it. This is the. It. It'll probably hit me in a week now. Hits <laughs> me now. Um. So the, yeah, that was the the final episode. Uh, so now there's no more. It's like got to wait for them to to come up with something else. But I guess I mean I, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to now go and find Charlie Borman's uh, solo adventures now. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, where he went stuff. to uh, Dave Alexanian and uh, Russ uh, Malkin. Um, the three of them they did they did their their own uh, yeah, that's right. Paris Dakar and they did um, uh, a South Africa one as well. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I need to go and find those ones and watch them as well, um, mm-hmm. and then that'll hopefully tide me over until the next one or until summer when I buy a Harley Davidson. Um, <laughs> that means I need to buy one as well. I, I did. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I I don't know. I I didn't. I've always liked the look of a bike, but I've never never really wanted to. Like I've seen the appeal in them. But I've never really wanted to own one, and I've been watching these shows back to back, and now I'm like, I really want a bike. Mm-hmm. And I keep I keep seeing like Harley Davidson because like this is a huge big biking community around around these here parts. Because as soon as summer comes, it's like the bike the covers come off the bikes, and everybody just heads down to to yeah. the lake shore. That one, um, that one you for good times. Really quite nice. It's lovely, the, the 500. And there's another one as well, the, the Iron 883. Now that I've been looking at these. Um, like, I don't like the touring bikes. I prefer, prefer the kind of bobber type uh, street bikes rather than the touring ones because the touring ones are a bit a bit too heavy. Although like oh, this is 500 pounds. No, I don't, I, I don't like the choppers. I'm not a fan of the choppers. Because you're just sitting there like this. Yeah. So it's that. What was that game? You knock at the end of it. Uh, yeah, full throttle. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The yeah. pole cats. Yeah, yeah. Um, the bad guy played Corley, whatever his name was, who was supposed to be Harley Davidson. Um, the, but he was the entity known as Harley Davidson, but he was like Corley yeah. something or other. And it just has to get the guy sitting like that. And I'm like, I hate that. that doesn't feel comfy. Like, can no. you imagine driving a car like that? You're kind of lying back a bit too much as well. Uh, well, yeah, there's that as well, where you're kind of like, and I've got, I've got enough chins. It's a bit you know like I mean? a. It's a bit like a, a, a C5, oh, but, with, but with big mad, um, big, big mad handlebars. Big Imagine one of those big mad handlebars on a C5, pedaling away. Be, be cool. Yeah, I like the chopper itself as well. Like that's the other thing as well is I don't like the idea of the chopper because the choppers usually got a smaller wheel at the front than it does at the back. Like the back one's usually like a massive wheel, and then you get the small one at the the front. And there's a lot of potholes around here, and I don't. No, I don't know. No. I don't really I'm like the idea of you. flying down there and you hit maybe a pothole and a chopper. Maybe what you need is a, a little um, disabled, you know, thing. Maybe that's what you need. A rascal. <laughs> have you seen those ones and people? Uh, no, I've you know, seen them. Yeah, yeah. No, folks have them, no, but they no. have the kind of cho- they have the big chopper mm-hmm. things and stuff. They kind of customize them to make them look, you know. There's- yeah, as if right, like it, a bike. there's a lot of people yeah, getting so bikes around right here, and it's like those don't appeal to me whatsoever. You see yeah. those things, these e-bikes? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. They're basically they're like they're like push bikes, but they're. I hate it when I'm cycling. I, I, I do a bit of <clears throat> I do a bit of cycling, and, and then uh-huh. these guys flee by, and they're not even cycling. No. Well, they are cycling, but you can tell they're you know. No, I'm not. No. Well, the, the, you don't need a license over here, and I don't think you need insurance either. So these guys just bomb around. They've got the, they've yep. got the. If they, if they do have a helmet on, the straps flapping away. And you're going like, if anything happens to you, you've had it. Mm-hmm. Flappy straps. But anyway, um. So uh, I finally sat down and watched Borat subsequent movie film this week. Oh, yeah. Forced yeah. myself to do it like, mm-hmm. <laughs> like, yeah. like Clockwork Orange. Mm-hmm. It's okay. It's not. Yeah, it's okay. It's more of a. It's more of a movie than it is a. a the first one was more. More um, documentary. Spont- it seemed more spontaneous. Stuff. Yeah. Even though it probably wasn't, but this one seems more like a movie, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, it's yeah, okay. It's okay. The highlight yeah, was the highlight was, was his daughter. I thought she was great. She was brilliant, uh, wasn't she? Yeah, she, she was, was really funny. Yeah. 
really um, good. He I he'd started to great after a while. Like I I think he needs to retire some of his characters like that. Ali G and, and Bruno. You know, I would love to uh, you know, we've seen a wee glimpse of it in him like Talladega Nights and things like that, when he does his yeah. kind of characters. I'd love to mm-hmm. see him do more of that because it's brilliant. Yeah. And he's like the new bloody uh, Peter Sellers, really. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, I and his uh, actually he played a he played a bumbling uh, French policeman as well in uh, Hugo. Yes, he did actually. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yep, yep. Uh, the inspector. He's, he was in um, Sweeney Todd as well. Yes, he was. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, mm-hmm. he plays the Italian Ber- Bertolini, or whatever his name is. Yeah, he was good in that. Yeah. He was good in that, and he's great in um, that spy one as well. The, oh, the, the, yeah. the six day six day war. I think the yeah, Israeli yeah. serene. <clears throat> yeah, and do you know what else? He's in that other new uh, Netflix thing that I need to watch. Um, oh, I need to watch that movie. It's um, uh, I don't know the name of it. It's like a court tr- kind of drama. Oh, seven, thing. seven something. Seven. I think it's just seven. It's called. Oh no, it's seven. not called seven. No, it's Chicago Seven. That's it. Yes, that one. Yeah. It's the follow up to the Seattle Six. Is it? There's a deep cut for it. No, the big, big, big Lebowski. <laughs> He was part of the Seattle. He goes, "What did you do? What do you do for a living, Jeffrey?" That was a deep cut. Oh, you know, I was uh, part of the Seattle Six. Then uh, I was a roadie for uh, Metallica. Jeez, no, I didn't get that. Um, no, he's meant to be dynamite in that as well. Does he not play Ben? No, I don't, <laughs> I don't know what his character's name is. Um, Napoleon Dynamite. Uh, yeah, so then I watched uh, Aquaman with uh, oh, yeah. Jason Momoa and, and um, Tamara um, Morrison and uh, Nicole Kidman and uh, Patrick Wilson as the bad guy for some reason. Nice. Um, and Amber Heard is, is Mera or Myra or Mare, I don't know what her name was. Um, who else is in it? Oh, yeah, Willem Dafoe was in it, Green Goblin. So I'm something of an Aquaman myself. Um, mm-hmm. He was in it. Um, it was a movie that I watched and did not enjoy. Um, I know we'll get letters. Please send them to Jody at superkellybros.com. Uh, I liked it. Well, no, kind of. Um, I liked most of it. I know what you mean, though. It did the. Well, it, it kind of slid away at the end, and then had a ridiculous. I think it's, at the end. Yeah, I, I it's the overall line. I like, I like, half of it, I think. like the, there was a big battle in it with all the crabs and stuff, and then all of a sudden he came out of the the ocean somehow. And all I could think of was SpongeBob SquarePants. So every time I saw him, I just kept laughing. <laughs> yeah. Ocean yeah, master, that, take me by the hand. I think the first half of it's pretty good, and then it goes a wee bit daft, mm-hmm. and then the, the fight at the end is just daft. It's just CGI. I know, I know, Endgame and and is is just CGI fight at the end, but there feels lot, there feels like there's lot. weight to it, and it doesn't feel that like there's weight to to some of these these fight mm-hmm. scenes, and, and that one certainly didn't feel that like there was any weight to it. It just felt like it was a bunch of CGI. Um, I think a lot of these movies rely on. Um, the end is just throwing everything under kitchen sink at the screen. Yeah, you know, yeah. thinking that's going to be an exciting thing, but it's yeah. actually it's not. It's not. No. Mm. So, um, I mean, I'll, I'll give an example of an exciting sense. fight. Is the bit in uh, Under Siege where they're doing the wee knife fight in the kitchen, and he's like getting pots and pans and stuff, and he's like whamming the head over the head, whamming the guy over the head with the pots and pans. That's an exciting fight scene. There's only two people in it. it. I've never seen Under Siege. It's really good. It's better than the train one. I I didn't like all of them. I just liked a couple of Steven Seagal movies. Like that one. I don't like him, actually. No, I don't like him either. (laughs) But he's he's funny to watch. Um, Talking of funny to watch, I also watched The Purge as well because I've never seen it. Um, (laughs) Funny. Imagine if that was real. That is a dark idea. Yeah. That is a dark, dark I know. idea. It is. Um, so this is um, Ethan Hawke and uh, Lena Headley. Um, 
they play this. He's supposed to be like this smarmy salesman, and he's he's not really smarmy, and he's not really that good a salesman. But he's managed to sort of dupe everyone into buying these expensive shutters for this thing that happens once every is every year. Yeah, every year twenty twenty first of March is Purge Night, I'll and so what, you can, those of you haven't seen it. Much of a hard sell. I would immediately buy them if that was real for real. See, what I didn't understand is why don't you just move to Canada? No. Like no. rather than having to to deal with the purge, because the idea is that that if you're in your house, then you're not going to be disturbed. No. That's the the idea. So why do you need all this armory stuff? And I'm pretty sure you could just get like a semi truck and just drive it through the front. Living room. I need, I need to see it again, but yeah. I did enjoy it. Did you not enjoy it? Yeah, it was okay. It was, you know, it was a, it was a movie. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. I had fun times. I, I noticed that it had um, forty-one percent on Metacritic, which was mm. better than Fantasy Island, which is twenty-six percent. I actually enjoyed Fantasy Island more than than uh, The Purge. Yeah, I need to see that actually. God, there's so many, yeah. isn't there? So much to see. I know. Jeez, I know. Michael Pena's yeah. good in it as well. He plays Mr. Rourke. <sighs> Do you know what, uh, what really bugs me? I was saying to Evelyn, um, it really annoys me when you watch something, maybe somebody's recommended it to you, and it's crap, right? Yeah. And you think to yourself, God, there's so much good stuff out there, and I've just watched this. Rubbish, like Ruby Halloween, for example. And I've wasted my blood. It was okay. Um... <laughs> Uh, you know, and I've just wasted my life watching this. You haven't wasted your life. You wasted an hour and a half. Calm. But I could have been watching something good. Like Yeah, you, know, you could have been, yeah. You know, Star Wars like, for the millionth time. Like Inception. Well, it's a great film. Watch that. Not, not, a not a fan. Again. That's another one that, that um, you know, the more you watch it, the better it gets because you can you know, get more from it. You know, mm-hmm. Because you watch it the first thing, time round. It's like seven, watching seven as well. You know, you kind of pick up and you, when you watch it the second time round, you see all the kind of clues and things that, mm-hmm. and then uh, Usual Suspects is like that as well. And usual Suspects is good, yeah. Yeah. That are kind of watchable again. Tenet you know, is probably going to be like that for me as well. Do you know what movie I'd like to watch again? Because it. I've only ever seen it once, and I thought it was great at the time. Was the game with uh, Michael that's Douglas? That's a good film. That's a good film. Um, yeah. And, yeah, and I want to watch that again because I mean I've seen other ones of his movies over and over again, um, and it's that's one of the ones I've not seen. I think since I since I watched it the first time. Did Did he make Seven, Fight Club, and the Game back to back? I don't know. Because if he did, that is probably. One of the best runner movies. Where did Alien Three fit in there? Well, I've not seen Alien Three for a long time. That, um, was, that was his first movie, Alien Three. Um, did he make Alien Three then? Right, well, I don't know, I'm just I'm just looking up. Uh, okay, so Alien Three. So uh, yeah, it was. It was three movies back to back. So he did. Uh, Alien 3, 92. 7 was 95. The game was 97. Wow. Fight Club, 99. Wow. Panic Room, 2002. Zodiac, 2007. Benjamin Button, 2008. Social oh, Network. Girl with Dragon Stay Tattoo. Movies, Gone Girl and Mank. I've not heard of Mank. Uh, Gary, Oldman. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. I don't know why that's so difficult for me to pronounce. Um, oh, Tuppence Middleton's in it. Okay. Um, well, that was a hell of a run of movies you had at the start of your career. pretty good, yeah. yeah. Um, so before we before we do uh, the news, which is what we normally um, uh, segue into after this, shall we, shall we uh, talk about uh, one of these things, which is... The yes. Game & Watch. Um, yes. So this is this is an original Game & Watch. I'm just going to bring this out. And I'll tell you how original it is. Um, I still have... I still have the instructions. 
Cool. I'll make this a little bit bigger. Awesome. Well. Um, I still have the instructions, and I also have the warranty and safety cards as well. See there? Cool. See that there? I remember we bought that in America, didn't we? We did in in New Orleans, um, New Orleans yeah. and yeah. Uh, it's got it's got all the instructions and everything in there. That's the, the full thing, and not only that, but it's also in and you don't see this every day now. It's a polystyrene box. Look at that. Well, actually, I bought something recently. Well, it was a, a Christmas decoration yesterday, and it was a polystyrene mm -hmm. box. But just to just to be clear, we didn't you know run away. And end up in New Orleans to, to no, do that. True, true, we, true. Uh, we, uh, our dad was a merchant seaman, and we ended up going across yeah. with our mother to meet him yeah. over there for a summer holiday. And it's we great. had a was it three days in New Orleans before we it was it was a while before the ship. ship. We met over the ship, yeah, which is uh, it was coming three, into four, the mighty three, four days. Yeah. So we got to see about New Orleans, which is lovely. It was great. I can't. I wish. I, yeah. I wish I'd been a little bit older to appreciate. I wish I'd been a little bit older as well. We stayed. I remember we stayed at the a Ramada Inn. Um, I don't know yeah, why. It was I remember a beautiful that. hotel. It was a, a fantastic hotel. hotel. I remember. <laughs> I remember that. Um, do you remember Damon Wayne's character in um, uh, Beverly Hills Cop? Yes. He played the he played the 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 bus boy guy, and yeah. and Eddie Murphy um, said Axel Foley says to him he says uh, can I get can I get some bananas? <laughs> he goes yes. Oh yeah, I do you remember him? Yeah, yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember I remember mom asking yeah. if, if she could get some some extra bacon. She and the guy went. Yeah. You know, we don't normally do that, but yes. <laughs> so every time really? I think of that, that guy, I think of that hotel because it was kind of similar like a, as well. It was that kind of like very ornate for a Ramada. It, like, it, really um, nice. it was like it reminds me of the. I don't know if you've watched the American Horror Stories, but the one, the hotel no. one. No, a, is well, it called hotel? Well, it's the it's set in a hotel, and it reminds it's that ornate type of <laughs> Art Deco. -y, Okay. I can't remember if it was up there, Chloe, but it reminds me of that really uh -huh. fancy hotel. I always remember the, the buffet at breakfast. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah. First yeah. time I ever had hash browns and stuff. That was a, that was amazing. So anyway, we, we went there and we, we went I think to I an had arcade toast as well. It was very fussy. Do you remember, we went, do you remember we went to an it's arcade? Great, yeah. And there was and that there was kid a, telling you to play uh, Dragon's uh, Lair. Uh, a wee black kid was stood beside me and he was like, you know, going, oh man, he's dead enthusiastic and all that. Yeah. Really cool, very very cool to yeah. experience that when we're two young Scottish was, lads. That was also the same trip as cool. we went bowling in uh, Galveston in Texas. Oh, um, so that and we went to the arcade there. Yeah. Uh, no, that was that was when we joined the ship, and we were mum and dad were like, "Well, we need to get them something to entertain them while they're they're on this trip." So they gave us like and it was a radio shack and stuff. It was like thirty bucks or something, and we we went. We walked for miles. I remember we walked for miles along this. Yeah. yeah, it was parched, and we got. And I think it was. I think it was like a. It wasn't a Walmart, but it was like a Kmart or something. It was like a everything store because mm -hmm. they had groceries and they also had like a kids like a toy section. Yeah, and we were like Max Rebo Band, and it was like a whole bunch of stuff. How did we got that? Yeah, did we get that there. Wow, yeah. good memory. Yeah, I thought we got that in London. Alex. No, remember when no. we went down there for the when the Turn of Jedi came out and all the, the costumes were down there. Like, we no, it was, it was there, down there. Yard, was it? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, no, it wasn't there. No. Right. Okay. Um. Yeah. So anyway, so this week, this arrived. We just uh, zoom in. And I uh, and what I did was I kept it. So we could unbox it. Nice. Let me uh, let me just flip you around here. There you go. So, so you can, can be big and I can be small. One here. Oh, lovely. <clears throat> so I need to hold it up because I don't have any fancy you know, the unboxing type things. But I've got a knife here, so if I do kill myself live on air, <laughs> please call it. Please phone the ambulance. I don't know. Maybe oh, I should. Is... Maybe I shouldn't use a knife actually. It's just a peely sticker. <laughs> I don't know how I'm used to that. Do you know what it is? Because I always see people doing, you know. Oh, they've got like. I have. Um, 
I can see so why they I, do use a knife now. Actually, <laughs> I did. I did a. I did an unboxing on my my yeah, other channel. I used. I used this thing here. I don't even see that. But this is this oh, yeah. is a doohickey, and it's really good because it's got like a paper opener thing there, and it works magically. What I'm going to have to do is just do it off camera. Jeez, oh, he's got a bloody snake steak knife. Here we go. I thought it was a butter knife you had. So this, Are you going to so slice your hand off? Can you move it over? Oh, there you go. That's it. Yeah. So this slides out. Ooh, oh, and it looks like the original. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. That's a nice oh. effect. So they've up, like, you know, obviously they've upgraded the old, the old, uh, the old game and watch. The old game and watch. That's Good. nice. That's nice. That's a nice touch. Mm. That's what it looks like now. Oh, it's still it's got kind of corrugated. <clears throat> Feel to it. Hmm. So, yeah. Oh. Isn't this exciting? Oh, well, I'm supposed to describe exactly what I'm doing. I'm supposed to, yeah, because um, there was a there was a sleeve. A kind of plastic sleeve. <laughs> that had the, the new new version of for the podcast is just like, what, what is going on? Is it rust sleeve paper? off? Took the sleeve off, and it and it looks like the, the original Game and Watch. Um, you know what it's called, the Juggler or something, Mario Juggling. Uh, now I'm struggling to get the bloody thing out. Oh, no, yeah. I think I've opened it at the wrong end. Oh no, here we go. I'm pulling a bit of card out of a bit of card. And uh, out of the box, fully, fully pulled out now. Um, oh, it's tiny. <laughs> that's, yes, that is what she said. Um, how the hell did I get out? That's again what she said. That is absolutely tiny. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Whoa, that's like, do you know what? That's actually larger than I thought it was going to be. That's what she said. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take it. I'm going to un unsheath it now. It's coming out. It's almost there. Fairly there. That's <laughs> fully unsheathed. <laughs> now look at that. No, it's glory. <laughs> oh, beautiful. That's really and nice. No. Here's a question. Do you, know, do you know, I like the colour scheme. It's very yeah. retro. Yeah, I know. It's very light. It's lovely and light. It's that kind of, um, you know, that kind of... For me, this is going to be perfect. For burgundy and, and gold. So ho hopefully it's going to turn on. Oh, oh this... there you go. I know. You might want to have a look at it, because apparently the screen doesn't appear again. So this this is the boot screen. Oh, it's nice. Nice screen. Oh, I need to set the this is this is thing. where Jody realizes he needs uh, larger arms, longer arms. He's so excited. He's so excited. His earbuds falling out. Oh, nice! By the way, twelve o'clock is exactly what all my devices are flashing to me just now because of the power cut that we had earlier on. Oh God, I'm still about to edit this down. <laughs> right, I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know how to do that. But anyway, here you go. Yeah, beautiful. That's lovely. Don't need you. Uh, and so what so what games do you get um on on there you get you get super mario bros you get mm -hmm. um the lost levels you also get the original um juggler ball thing but you know that that thing nice but it's mario instead of uh, just the juggler guy, yeah think. um yeah but it's a beautiful little thing very nice it's tiny but it's a beautiful that's thing. lovely there you go, folks. That is nice. Great. And so, what else do you get in the box then? So you get the you get the machine itself. See when see I just noticed there. See when um, the the time changes. I've not set the time yet, but when it changes, uh, Mario headbutts the time, and it changes to two. It'll change to two. Ah, all right. Okay. It cool. changed to one there by doing that. So uh, there's a along the bottom. There's a there's a few Easter eggs. I won't spoil it for you because obviously you want to explore this thing yourself. But I, I saw a couple of things and I was like, well, that's really cool. Uh, so you get Mario Brothers one Doki the the Doki Doki Panic two. You don't get the lost levels, do you? You do. Oh, you do. You get the lost levels as well. Oh yeah, 
Uh, oh, so you get the first four basically. You get the lost levels, oh, one the lost the, levels. You can change the. Um, you see that? You can change the how it looks, the background. Oh, right, looks. okay. There's always a wee pipe at the end so that you can jump on. Yeah. And oh, there's a change, change of time. There's a change, there, yeah. There you go. There you go. Cool. That's cool. So, yeah, I'll change that. Later. I don't know if there's a volume switch, though. I, I think there is, doesn't, yeah. Doesn't uh, there isn't a volume switch, but you can change the volume in the, <clears throat> doesn't in the menu. All right, because there doesn't appear to be a volume switch, and I don't think it's annoying switch. all the yeah. commuters. All you get with it is a little USB uh, cable. Okay. So yeah, I guess you just plug it to your phone charger and then that'll charge it up. Yeah, it's just a just a, a USB C charger. All right. There you go. That's right. Nice. That's all you need. Well, you got to read instruction booklet, which I never hmm. read. <laughs> oh, where'd I go? <laughs> you get a Nintendo sticker with it. No, you don't get a Nintendo. <laughs> you don't. You don't get a Nintendo yeah. sticker. Bab. That's Bab nice. Jody, the, the most amazing thing about that unboxing is the fact that you managed to um, do it without saying anything rude. Anything rude. Slicing your hand open, which I was worried about because I noticed it was a steak knife you are using. Um, yes. And it won't go back uh, And when did you get it? You got it Friday? Uh, I think I did, yeah. So you've you sat in that for two days. I did, man. I can do that. That deserves a pat in the back. It really does deserve a pat in the back. I am um, so I did an unboxing of the I don't know if anyone's cares to, to know about this, but um if I just unplug this here. Uh the the video's on my, my my channel. Um but it's this thing here. I think I showed you this before. <clears throat> yeah. I did I? So it's the, the Raspberry, a, a Raspberry Pi. Pi thing. Yeah. yeah so yeah. it's a Raspberry Pi four, and you got all the connectivity and all that kind of stuff in the back there. But it's um, it's an all-in-one neat package. It's very nice. And I did an unboxing for it, and I, I couldn't wait. I was like, yes. I've definitely seen you photographs of it. Why? Oh, a few, a few being all uh, gushy. <laughs> I do, uh, I do like the Raspberry Pi. I think it's, um, I think it's a worthwhile product. I have, I own several, um, and I'm, I, I've done a book <laughs> about it as well. Um, so, he done a book. Done a book. Done a book. No, it's over there. I can't get it. But trust me, folks, I've talked about it before. Really um, I'm going to advertise my paintings next. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't get it back in anyway. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> okay. and, um, shall, shall, we, uh, shall we talk the news? Yes. Uh, sad news, again. I feel that like we do this every week, but um, after a, after yeah. a fall at his home, um, we lost the... Uh, a great entertainer and foil of Morecambe and Wise. Uh, Des O'Connor died um, yesterday, I think it was, or, or earlier today, um, aged 88. Um, he was a staple of um, Saturday nights on, on BBC for a long time. Um, is it Saturday night? Is it Saturday night or through, through, Friday? Through the week in ITV. I remember being at BBC a lot. They may have been... First fact, totally wrong. Um, Let me just look up. Des O'Connor. I think he was on BBC shows. Maybe wrong. You've got a better memory than I do. Best British TV series, I don't know. Um, Butlins to TV King. Uh, does it say BBC? Well, that, that doesn't help. BBC doesn't even advertise the fact it's yeah, there you go. Des O'Connor tonight, BBC Two, moving to ITV where he stayed oh, until the end of 2002. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was uh, that guy, Mon Monteith, remember? He discovered him. Kelly Monteith, yeah, that's him. right. Kelly yeah. Monteith. Yeah. Kelly Monteith. Um, he used to watch yeah. all the time as well. 
So he started off on ITV, the BBC poached him, but that was 1971 that he had his run on TV on ITV. So it's before us. And so nineteen seventy seven through to the eighties it was BBC, right. yeah. So he was he was originally right. not really. We were both right. He started off on ITV, BBC poached him, but in his heyday he was he was always a BBC guy. Because Walking and Wise were BBC guys. Yeah. So anyway, we've lost him. He's gone. Yeah. Uh, I know he was great. Yeah. I used he, to love he, do you know do you remember when he used to have comedians on? He would have comedians on it and they'd be absolutely got <laughs> himself. Too. Yeah. I, I love yeah. that. Yeah. That was that was very that was similar to kind of Johnny Carson. Like if Johnny Carson mm. got a good comedian on, he would just be decking mm. himself. Because he wanted to do yeah. he, he basically wanted a private show is is what he wanted. <laughs> but well <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh. Also, mm. terrible, tragic news. Even worse than Des O'Connor. I know you'll be disappointed with this. The Friends reunion has been put off to March. Sorry. Till March? Oh. <laughs> I didn't say what year. Yeah. Matthew Perry. <laughs> <laughs> I, was gonna say something. Well, I know we are probably not. I mean, I, I did like Friends, you know. But... It's not as funny. Like, let me put it this way: if you compare Seinfeld and Friends, Seinfeld is a show about nothing and therefore ageless. Friends is about growing up in the nineties, mm -hmm. and it's aged terribly. Seinfeld is a, a show about life problems that will. Be with us forever, or, or yes. issues issues that will be with us forever. Yes, uh, yeah. And friends yeah. is kind of friends is kind of as well as a little bit, but not as much. As uh, there's a, there's too. It's very nineties parochial humor in there as yeah. well. And and because I, I watched season one, I'm like, this isn't funny. I remember decking myself at, at season one of Friends and thinking recently when I watched it, I'm like. Mm. Yeah, like anyway, I'm not that first. I'm not. I'm not looking forward to a friends reunion. It's like who cares? I'm. I'm nonplussed. Yeah. In other news, it gets worse, Jody. Um, Netflix has cancelled the order after season what, two. What order? Pizza order. Yeah, cancelled it. Phoned up. Phoned up Papa John's and like, hey, cancel that order. But in good news. They've renewed Space Force for season two. You never liked that. No. You liked it though. It's okay. There you the go. monkey bit was the monkey bit really got me. I thought it was so funny. That was one of the funniest the things monkey. I saw this year. <laughs> it was so funny. I, that bit. I'm, you should watch it for that. It's only episode two, I think. I'm, I've been rewatching The Office. I don't mention it because so I know how much you hated me talking about the hundred. Um, but I've been rewatching The Office. It is the American version. It's hilarious. Like the Michael well, Scott I've never era. Watched the American oh, version. It's really like fight your way through the first six or seven episodes because th those oh, are basically yeah. the British Office. Um, right. But because you need to know who the characters are and get used to them, and then after that, maybe, it's maybe like I should just start from two then, season two. Maybe you probably pick it. Oh, I mean, wait, wait a minute, season one's probably got about twelve episodes, does it? No, I think it's about twenty episodes in it. I think twenty. There's a few. Well, yeah, you've got to fill a season, yeah. Jody. It's America. It's start from episode seven, probably. Yeah. Well, it's yeah. Characters. Um, Jeez. the bad news keeps coming. I'm afraid. Uh, Stallone has joined the squad. Well, I knew that actually was happening. I think. Yeah. What's all that about? Um. Well, he was, oh, briefly in, um, he was briefly in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy two, wasn't he? He was, yeah. He played the he played one of the scavengers yeah. or what they're called ravagers. Which, are, which I always like to, see, you know, I was like, oh, it's alone. It's a long story, long ride. Is that story? What was that? I have you seen uh, Last Blood? No. Watch that without subtitles. You will not understand how what this is. 
I had enough problem with him in uh, Tango and Cash. He's got worse. Oh, I know. Tango and Cash was a long time ago. I know it was. A long time ago. A long, long time ago. Um, oh, no, long time ago. ago. Um, and that's it. That's that's the bombshell that we've we're gonna we're gonna end on there. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> An absolute downbeat <laughs> ending. Is there is there anything you're looking forward to on Netflix that's coming up? Is there is there anything on Netflix that's coming up? Have they run out of stuff to to throw at us? I'll tell you what, right? You know what thing was? Yeah. Sorry, Disney Plus announced that, that they got Home Alone back just in time for the Christmas season. I'm like, we were watching it last week. Disney so I think Plus are starting to annoy me. Disney Plus are like the, the you know you know Charlie Brown, the little girl puts the ball down for the kick and she yeah. always pulls it away. She takes the ball and he always yeah. they always falls in his arse. Yeah. That is Disney Plus. Promise, promise, promise. And you're like <laughs> nothing. You know that uh, Lucy was actually um, our artwork for last week's episode. Well, the links just keep coming. It's crazy, yeah. Crazy, crazy, crazy stuff. Anyway, I, I think we'll end up your wee uh, art things. Anyway, <laughs> sorry. I do love them. Um, I quite liked the the James Bond one. That was that was one of my favourites recently, which is basically a picture of James Bond, but he's got he's got one of those pistols that says "Bang," but instead of saying "Bang," it says "Twenty Twenty," because it's as much well, a shock as anything else. You should frame them and get them, you know, get an exhibition going. No. Want to be sued into oblivion, especially the, especially the Star Wars comes to Scotland episode, where it's just it's basically the jewel of the fates, but they're wearing kilts. Aye. Anyway, anyway, on that bombshell, Enough thank you all for for uh, watching. Uh, don't forget to hit the old uh, like listening. button and share as well. Sharing is caring. Sharing helps the channel, and uh, that's all we ask. We don't ask for money, not yet. Anyway. Um, and yeah. if you wouldn't mind uh, hitting the old subscribe button as well, you'll get timely reminders, hit the notification bell, and YouTube will do its magic and, and let you know when we post up a, a new video every week. Uh, but, yeah, that's us for now. Um, Jody, you, want, you got anything else you want to, to add? Yes. Listen, watch, share. Oh, Thanks nice. So I like it. Bye-bye.